Okay guys, so this is the Uverzicht campsite in the Graten area, basically right next to Kleiner Acre, which we've also got a video on, if you want to have a look at that. Um, I just thought we'd do a quick review on the Uversight, Uversicht site. Um, I think the first thing to note importantly is this is the main road going to town, and on the other side of this road is Caledon, if I'm correct. Um, now, if I say the main road, obviously the farm main road or agricultural main road, it's a dust, uh, dirt road and the campsite sits right there. So I think I haven't been camping here myself, but I think the most important thing to note here is probably there's going to be a lot of dust being kicked up by farming vehicles traversing that road. Um, and the campsite is essentially right next to it. Um, that's it. It uh, looks like a nice site. It's got level lawns. There seems to be electricity points and water uh, on all the sites. There's only 28 sites. Although it seems to be less private than Kleiner Acre. The reason being that Kleiner Acre only has two rows of campsites. Over here the sites are staggered in between each other. So you might not have one neighbor or two neighbors, but you might have four neighbors on each side or whatever the case might be. Uh, be that as it may, that's the river so you can go tubing or fish or whatever you want to do. On the other side I've got a short video of the communal side where they have um, tennis courts and a lapa and jacuzzis and all sorts of things. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this to the left is the first bunch of sites. As I said, level lawns. Nice, they should be protected from the wind quite a bit because they've got these, I think, Chinese poplars that runs through the entire campsite. So I don't think wind would be an issue here. But then it's never really an issue in the Greaton area, except for uh, the odd day here and there. And this is where you'll see what I mean in terms of privacy. So there's sites scattered, scattered all over so you don't have it's not like you're bordering a field or the river or something um, there is however these riverfront sites and uh, of course if you book them then you're a little bit more private and not as surrounded by people every site has a little call it a little larpa thingy or entertainment space with a bit of shade All these sites to the right are riverfront sites. There's also a little spaza shop. It's closed now. So I'm not exactly sure what they sell, but I would think it's ice and wood and uh, you know normal supplies. I'm just gonna have a quick look at the bathrooms. Moving on to where we were, when I cut the video we were walking there and then bathrooms on that side there. I think there's, on the other side they have chalets you can rent, this looks like a permanent caravan which you can also rent. This is site number 16 which is quite nice, it's got an elevated entertainment area there, I think I'll show you that quick. Sorry guys, so my battery died. Uh, quick look back at site number 16. Uh, one of the sites I like, it is in the middle of the campsite and as I mentioned, not very private, but it's got this really nice elevated entertainment area which overlooks the river and the mountains, which is quite nice. So personally, I would prefer this site to all the others. It's also quite close to the bathrooms. And then we'll take a walk down to another site, which I think is nice, towards the end. So 
So these two sites at the back here, I also find quite interesting. They're a bit removed from the other people. This is the road going back out. Um, so this one here, and the one all the way to the end, this is number, site number six, it looks like. Sorry, no, site number 26. Um, so this is quite a nice site. It's nice and private, it's big. Um, and you're a bit more removed from all the people and the noise, which I find nice. And you should, if I'm correct, also have a bit of a river view from here. There you go. So yeah, I would say 16 or 26. 16 if you're okay being in the middle of everyone, 26. I like which is nice and private and all the way to the end it's also furthest from the main dust road where you enter. Uh, in terms of shade and sun the whole campsite is pretty well protected with big trees so I don't think shade or sun here is a major concern. As I mentioned there is taps um, and there is electricity boxes on most of the sites. I haven't seen it all over the place so just confirm if you book a site if there is a electricity point close to it but yeah that's it for Uversicht as usual please like subscribe follow the channel and stay up to date with our videos as we go along